Have you ever noticed that your knees are more painful in the winter than they are in the summer? Well, this video is going to reveal to you how that might not be a coincidence. Hi everybody, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be revealing the truth about how the cold weather can make knee pain worse. Now, before we dive into the content of the video, if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because then you'll be the first to hear about our new knee pain videos as soon as they come out. Now that that's been said, let's talk about knee pain and cold weather. Now, I often have people who come in to see me, especially around December, January, February, and they say, my knee's been all right all year, but then when it comes to the winter time, my knee starts to nag. I know I've got a little bit of arthritis in there, but then whenever the weather is cold and wet, my knee pain gets really bad. Is there anything I can do? Now, the answer for most of these people is yes, but the first thing you need to realize is why this is happening. Now, I'm here to tell you today that it is not just an old wives' tale that cold, wet, stormy, or rainy weather does actually make knee pain worse. It is true, and there is some science behind it. Now, there are two main reasons why cold weather will make your knee pain worse. And the people who find that their knee pain gets worse during the cold weather tend to already have some kind of underlying problem wrong with their knee joint. Maybe they have a little bit of arthritis in there. Maybe they have a meniscus problem. Maybe they have an old ligament injury that just never quite got better. So the first thing that we need as a prerequisite for this pain in cold weather is an underlying problem. Now, back to the two reasons why cold weather makes it worse. The first reason has to do with the atmosphere. And this is where the, um, the old wives' tale came from. So the classic old wives' tale is, oh, my knee's hurting, that means a storm must be coming in imminently. And this is actually true. And this is because when we have wet and cold weather plus storms, we often have what we call a drop in atmospheric pressure. So we enter a period of low atmospheric pressure. Now, why is this significant for our knees? Well, every single joint in the body, and the knee is no different, is surrounded by what we call a capsule. Okay, And a capsule is basically like a, a tough um, bundle of ligaments and fibers that keeps the joint in place within the body. So it's made up of things like fascia and just inert fibers that you can't contract. They're just there to keep everything in place. Now, inside the joints, every joint in the body has what we call synovial fluid. And this is like the body's WD-40. Okay, So it lubricates the movement. It's like oil within the joints and it keeps the bones and the cartilage healthy. Now, because of this capsule and the fluid inside it, the joints within our body are actually pressurized. Okay, so we have pressure within the joints of the body. Now, when we experience low atmospheric pressure outside, it does something to the pressure inside the joints. And if my understanding is correct, I believe it raises the pressure inside the capsule of the joints, which causes the capsule to be under more pressure and that can make knees especially stiffer and more painful. So low pressure in the atmosphere tends to lead to higher pressure in the joints, and that can lead to pain. So that's the first reason why, especially the wet and stormy weather, can make knee pain worse. Now, the second reason why bad weather, so coldness and wet, can make your knee pain worse is because when we're cold, so when the atmosphere is cold, our muscles are all also cold. And the muscles in the body are a bit like plastic, okay? So if you make it cold, it gets stiff. And if you make it warm, it gets more flexible, okay? Imagine when you're in science class at school and you held your plastic ruler over the Bunsen burner and it would go floppy. Same thing happens really with our muscles. So when we're warm, when the atmosphere is warm or when we've just done exercise, our muscles are more flexible. Now, what this means is when it's cold outside, we're waking up in the morning and our muscles are colder than they normally would be, which means they're also stiffer. And especially in the knee, where we have the quadricep muscles above the knee, we have the calf muscles below the knee to the back, 
and both of those muscles in some way cross over the joint. So if they become tight, they compress everything inside the knee joint. So if you have arthritis within your knee joint, tight quads and tight calves will both make the pain worse and those muscles tend to be tighter in the cold weather. So that's why cold weather can lead to worse knee pain. But what can we do about it? Well, the best thing you can do about it is to introduce heat to your knee. Now you can do this in a couple of ways. Now, the first thing to say is that the heat you introduce must be real heat, not the deep heat rub that you rub on. That basically just makes the skin feel warm. It doesn't actually penetrate far enough into the joint to have a positive effect. So we're talking about real heat here. So things like a hot water bottle, things like a wheat cushion, things like a hot bath, things like a hot shower, things like your car heaters blasting down on your knees. All of these things can help to improve the stiffness in your knees. And I often recommend to my patients that they have some kind of heat exposure to their knees for the first 15 minutes of the day. So that might mean jumping straight in a hot bath. It might mean going downstairs and boiling a little bit of extra water so you can make your cup of tea and a hot water bottle at the same time and then applying it to your knee to help it warm up. Now, the second thing you can do to reduce the pain that you get is by stretching the muscles around the knee. So you can do a calf stretch or a quad stretch to help the muscles at the front and then the back of the leg. You can also do a hamstring stretch, which may also help with knee pain too. I have other videos on stretching the lower limbs that you might find useful. You can find those on my channel under the knee um, playlist. And those really are the best ways to remedy it. So it's important to understand this happens to just about everyone. When it gets cold, knee pain often gets worse. So don't worry, you're not unusual. And there are simple steps you can take, such as applying heat and stretching the muscles around the joint. Anyway, that's all I had for you today. I hope that video has been useful. If you want more from me, then you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50, and you can find it on Amazon using the link below this video. And if you've enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment below because I read all of your comments and I try and get back to everyone. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you on the next video.